we're going to measure the gradient of this line. A gradient is just a steepness. How steep is this line? It's like saying, how, what's the temperature today? How hot is it today? You end up with a number, 13 degrees. How steep is this line? You'll end up with a number. And just the same way that you measure a temperature you, you, with a thermometer, you have an instrument to measure the temperature, you need an instrument to measure the gradient. So the instrument we're going to use is a right angle triangle. It's a special one. One of the sides is vertical. It's parallel to the y-axis. That's this side here. The other side, this one here, is parallel to the, the x-axis. So it's a horizontal. We've got vertical and horizontal. We've got an up and down line and a, a long the way line. And to measure this gradient, how steep this red line is, we use this instrument by trying to fit the hypotenuse, this sloping line here, against the line that we're measuring. So it's um, when we try it in this case, uh, the hypotenuse here is less steep than the red line. So we need to really alter uh, this triangle slightly. Now I'm just doing this by eye. Maybe that's quite close. We'll go up and check it. That looks pretty good. Maybe oh, this is slightly too high. Let me move it down slightly. That's a good fit. And it fits all the way along. So we've now got the instrument, the measuring instrument set, so that it fits along the line. Now the gradient of this red line, the number that measures its slope, how steep it is, is just this vertical distance divided by this horizontal distance. Now, unfortunately, the way I've chosen this, I really am not quite sure what this distance along is and what this distance up and down is. I've really not fitted it to the grid. So let me try and fit this to the grid. Um, let's use one along and let's just lower this. That looks about right. Let me check it. That's pretty good. It seems all the way along to fit. Okay. So now that we've done that, let's just write down the length that we've got. We've got a distance along of one unit and a distance up of two units. That's coming from the grid. Um, this line here, let, let's call that point A, and let's call this point B. So the line, we would refer to this line as the line AB. And rather than having to write the gradient of line AB is equal to, we can shorten this all using a little letter M lowercase m, and put the name of the line just down there. So the gradient, you'd read this m as the gradient of the line AB, and it equals 2 divided by 1. It's the distance up or down divided by along. So it's 2 divided by 1. And of course that's just 2. So the gradient of this line is 2. Now, let's just get rid of all that and let's change this line somewhat. Uh, let me just do that just now. So hang on and I'll alter uh, this line. Completely different line. Let me take my measuring, my gradient measuring instrument and try and fit it. It doesn't work, obviously. What we had before was a gradient of 2, quite a steep line. Now we've got a less steep line, and obviously this triangle doesn't fit. So let me try and fit the line, the, the triangle to the line. Um, we need to pull this along a bit, pull this side down a bit. And let's check that. That seems good. All the way up the line, that triangle 
fitting. The hypotenuse of this little triangle fits exactly on the line. So we've set our gradient measuring instrument precisely to the slope of this line. And we now need to do some measurements. If we look at this line, it's two units along, and this is one unit up. If this is the line, say, P, Q, if there was a couple of points called P and Q, we could then write the gradient of the line P, Q is equal distance up or down, 1, divided by the distance along. So it's 1 over 2. So we've got a less steep line than the previous one with a smaller number, and that was gradient half. So let me just remind you that is a gradient of a half. The previous uh, line had a gradient of 2, a lot steeper, as you can see.